primary aim of the Global Health Film Festival is to bring together health professionals, health advocates and filmmakers to collaborate in the important job of telling difficult, complex, sometimes neglected stories in an impactful, creative and innovative way to affect change for social good. It's really important for people to come to something like this because documentary has the capacity to make the world a better place, but it will not be able to do that alone. And it's by documentary filmmakers working together with people in civil society, in organisations like the health service, that these films can be made, seen and have an impact. The thing that makes the festival unique is that it's bringing together health professionals with filmmakers. They take their different expertise and bring them together and that will allow them to make good films that are scientifically based and can have a major impact. Today we've been here in Barbican Centre with uh, our ambulance, uh, which is a uh, portal to Gaza. In this case, we've been having live streams with doctors, uh, nurses, health workers from Gaza, connecting, talking with uh, health workers here at the Global Health Work Festival. It's really just a way, I think, to kind of transport you because it's easy to feel very far away from these kind of things. When you see something like that up close, I think it really brings it home to you. We've got eight different types of virtual reality experiences that take you either sort of deep into the human body or to uh, the Syrian refugee camps. And the great thing about VR is it's probably the most uh, intimate medium that's ever yet been created. Within VR, you get incredibly close to people in a way that other media never quite managed to achieve. And it also has more impact because you remember it kind of as though it, it's a place that you've been to, rather than a piece of media that you've seen. And then it becomes really effective as a, as a tool for changing hearts and minds. David Knott, who is the trauma surgeon who was working out in Syria, he's someone who I've had immense admiration for for a huge amount of time. So to see him here, meet him face to face was incredible. To see the film that he'd made alongside his work in Syria, it left a huge impact with me. I think just looking around, seeing the other people who are watching the film, I think pretty much everyone was in tears at one point in that film. Stories are really powerful things. So if someone has been diagnosed with HIV, has lived through HIV, has had a child, and tells their story, that is more powerful than me sitting and telling them, oh, you'll get better. Orphans in Canada was a film we made about AIDS orphans and the effect on children of the AIDS pandemic. As a direct result of that, several million pounds were raised for orphan and vulnerable children in South Africa and the film was used as part of the Make Poverty History campaign to influence presidents, prime ministers all around the world. That's the power of film. First and foremost, we want everybody to go away having had an inspiring, enjoyable two days with us. We want them to have made some new contacts, we want them to have learned some new things and to have challenged some of their own ideas around global health issues. Please keep in touch, check out the website and get the dates for all the events we've got lined up for you.